Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just ate the most incredible sausage I've had all year. Stay tuned to see where I found it. But first, let's talk a little bit about Vietnamese history. Today, I am still in Hanoi, Vietnam, and I've got Chi with me. Hey guys. So we have escaped the old quarter and we are gonna give you a little neighborhood tour around this neighborhood just to the west of downtown Hanoi. What do we call this neighborhood? Uh, this is Văn Miếu Quốc Tử Giám. What she said. I'll put a Google map link to all these locations in the description below. So if you want to check out this area, just go there. We're starting off the tour at the Temple of Literature? Yes, the Temple of Literature. So this is the first university in Vietnam. I think they study Confucius here. Let's uh, go in and find out. Also, after we check this out real quick, we're gonna look around the neighborhood, find something to eat. In the description, I have little links to each portion. So if you wanna skip ahead, go ahead. I won't be mad. Let's go check this out. Let's go. This is the entrance. Pretty impressive. Hey Chi! Welcome! Oh, it's nice, isn't it? It's really beautiful here. Did they like study in the garden? I wonder though. <laughs> this looks like a garden, not a university. It's like in all those old movies where, you know, it's like the palace and then there would just be all the people like, you know, all the fancy king and emperors and ladies just like passing their time in the gardens, right? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's kind of sad that we, uh, we cannot protect a lot of buildings from the ancient times because of wars. We have a lot of wars here and they just uh, sabotage everything. It's kind of sad. Wow, this is a really beautiful building. Wow, look at this. Why are these guys wearing like, do they graduate from something? Yeah, they're here for the pictures. Yeah, just taking photos. See, when you graduate and you wear those guys' costume and you go here to take pictures for memories. Should we ask? Hey guys, are you guys taking photos here or why are you all dressed up? Because we are graduates. Okay, so they just graduated from ninth grade and everyone came here to take photos. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, they've picked a really spectacular spot. Just look at this lake here. Uh, maybe especially it's very crowded in uh, at New Year holiday. Go here to wish for good grace and stuff at school. So it's sort of like the temple of learning, the yes, place where yeah. people want to pray to the education yeah. gods? Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. It's beautiful. They have a lot of really, really old trees. Oh, there's some beautiful koi fish in this pond. Let's take a look at that. And then this looks like some sort of a tomb or something. Those are the stones. How <laughs> can you read this? What the hell does that mean? Okay, so according to Google, there are 82 stone steels? I don't know what that means. Of doctors. So are they buried there? No, we just to memorize them. So according to Google, these big stone tablets are over 600 years old. It's not that exciting. They basically have the names of all the people who uh, became a doctor. I think that like a PhD level. It's sort of hard to really read them. And is that, I guess that's Chinese that it's written in. I uh, know, it's the uh, our language. Is it? Yeah, before. Ancient, ancient Vietnamese. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's ancient Vietnamese. But we are affected a lot by the China language. Okay. So this temple is over a thousand years old. There are a series of really beautiful courtyards. This is the fourth courtyard coming up. It's a beautiful place. Come take a walk here. There's a park next door you can exercise at. It's a really nice place to just relax and get away from the city for a couple hours. I'm still on the language. I think maybe it is Chinese is from Chinese, it's reported from Chinese. Yeah, China. that's what I figured. Hmm. All right, so we have proved that we are terrible at history. Let's go out and see the rest of this neighborhood and find some food. Let's, let's go. I'm sorry I can't be helpful to you guys. 
<laughs> no interesting information. How are you doing? Maybe he knows more than me. Oh yeah, you know about this this temple? What is this place? I'm not sure that's, uh, I know it wasn't her. Okay, time to go out and see the neighborhood. Out on the street now, it's uh, almost rush hour, so it's pretty busy. Lots of scooters going about. This uh, main street next to the temple has a lot of interesting stuff, so let's go take a look. Wow, this place looks cool. Yeah. House. Oh, tea house. This is like a lot of really hip little like restaurants and cafes and stuff. That way. But like, uh, where? What is the destination? There's a destination. <laughs> there's a neighborhood tour. She thinks there's a destination. <laughs> no, we're just looking around this neighborhood, see what's here. Check out some back alleys, get into some trouble, you know? Yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look at how close these buildings are built. Oh. <laughs> These buildings are so close together, it completely blocks out the sun. I mean, just look at this. It's like uh, the old areas, so that's why it's so um, narrow. But the more recent and developed areas, they are very wide, easy to travel. See, this is really cool though, because it, it's safe without cars, you know? And with the houses built so close together, and many families living in one building, you get a good community feel, get to know your neighbors. So you've got some really old buildings and new buildings right next to them. Hey brother, how you doing? It's just so many little alleys here, it's really cool. Oh, lost dog. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen him? No. We should look for him. Wow, you got a little restaurant here. All right, so that was a cool little alley. A little slice of how the locals live here. And then back out onto the street. Oh, look at the ducks over there. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Hello. Hey. This is awesome. Look at that duck. Whoa, dude. Uh, you want to have a little duck? Yeah. I want some duck. Can we have some duck? Yeah, <laughs> Can we eat some duck? Hmm, no, no, no. 30 minutes. Oh, it's not ready yet. Okay. 30 minutes? Yeah. 30 minutes. Cool, man. What's your name? Phan Man Tung. Phan Man Tung. Okay. Ben. Yeah. Ben. 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 Wow, wow. And you? Um, Phan uh, Bu Dao. Phan Bu Dao. Yes. All right. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Okay, okay. Maybe 30 minutes. Come back. Oh, there's a market over there. Got some vegetables. What is that? What an interesting plant. Never seen this before. I don't know that one either. It's like really long roots or beans or something. Yeah. All right, zaozu. Here we got some eggs and some meat. So we have these kind of small markets everywhere in every community. So it's very easy for people to just go buy their food every day. We don't really go to the supermarket uh, to like buy a whole, but we uh, will go buy every day at the market like this. Oh. In the morning or after work, just pass by the market and buy the things that you want. Oh, they've even got the fashion store here. Yeah. Oh wow, are those eels? Wow, cool. And big, big fish. Hey brother, how you doing? Xin chào. Xin chào, xin chào. Xin chào, xin chào. Whoa, look at that bad boy. All right. Oh, look at the puppy. Wait, is that the lost dog? No. He, yeah, the lost dog is white. <laughs> so that's the market there. What is over here? Huh. Oh, this is a toilet area. Well, this is really cool. Do they burn this? Yeah, they burn this. When well, you're burning these kind of paper clothing and stuff, deaf people will receive it. So they will have clothes, cars in the other world. <laughs> and maybe horse. This is the horse as well.
Hello, hello. Everybody's so friendly in these local neighborhoods. It's really cool. Is that the lost dog? This one's white. What is that over there? Oh my god, look at this sausage. Okay, okay. We need to get some of this. So 20,000 one gram. Sounds good. Yeah. So she's got all these pork skewers and uh, some leaves in between. I wonder if that's like tea or what. It looks so juicy. The smell of this sausage is just freaking unreal. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jeremy. My name is Ben. Ben. What about you, buddy? What's your name? Nice to meet you. You go home from school? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I don't know English. Oh, I don't know English? Yeah. Good English. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yes. Everybody is so friendly here. Oh, yeah. We need to buy some of this sausage for sure. So I think they have uh, meat inside the pig stripes. Organs. Yeah. Tripe, like um, that's like intestines, right? Yeah. Only one way to find out. It's thirty thousand one gram. Thirty thousand one gram. Okay. Oh, look how juicy that is! Oh my god. Thank you. They're gonna put a sauce. Oh yeah! Look at that. It looks like a little sweet sauce. Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh my god. This is like insane. Look at this. Look at this like rush hour traffic. I love this. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Ladies first. Dipping them in the sauce. Mm. I'm gonna go for two. Okay, no Oh my god, yo. wow. That is the juiciest sausage I've ever had in my life. It's a super rich, super meaty, juicy, fatty. There's maybe a little bit of intestine in there. I think it's mainly pork, ground pork maybe. Yeah. Is all the sausage in Hanoi this good? Mm, this is a good place, yeah, I have to say. Okay, so you take the leaf and you wrap it around the sausage, is that, is that how this works? Okay, I gotta try this. So, we take the leaf, we take one sausage, two sausage, we wrap it a little bit, and in the mouth, Oh, wow. <laughs> Very healthy. <laughs> mm, herbal flavor. Really, really good. Look at how drippy these pork skewers are. It's <laughs> Definitely not the most expensive cuts of meat that went into this sausage, but it is so delicious. Just over one US dollar, two big sausages. Incredible. There's these little bits of hard stuff in there. It's not quite bone. It's more like really, really hard connective tissue or tendon or something. No, it's not tendon. Like ligament, something like that. You can either chew on for a really long time or just don't eat them. The flavor is totally worth the chewy bits. She just can't stop eating. She loves it. I'm so satisfied. <laughs> Let's see what else this street has to offer. Okay, let's go. Wow, what are they making over here? Oh, wow, okay, I gotta try this. Oh, they got this charcoal grill going over here, and then these, like, skillets. I want one of these. I want one of those. Check out these skillets. They have about a hundred years of, like, they've never been cleaned. They look amazing. There's so much flavor in there. Should we sit down? Yeah. So this place is called Ban Chao Da Neng. Does that mean it's like Da Neng style something? 
That's a city, right? Yeah, it's a city. Yeah. It's popular for big scale. Awesome, look at that. Thank you, brother. Wow, so much stuff. We've got some cucumber and some of that like grated papaya with carrot. That's an interesting color. I don't think I've tried that before. Peanut, a little bit sweet. Thank you. Oh my God, look at this. This batter looks so incredible. I don't really know what's in it. If you guys know the name of this dish, leave a comment down below. I'll put the uh, link to this exact location in the description. Mung bean sprouts and uh, ground pork and some shrimp. Yeah, good. <laughs> the rice paper. I like eating a lot of vegetables, so I'm just gonna put a lot in. Mango. And of course, the main ingredients. Wrap it. Now, sauces to dip it with. This one is nice, sweet and sour. Not the as sweet. Rich in flavors. You should try. This beautiful, crispy. And then we're just gonna wrap that right up. So healthy. Really great texture. We've got the crunch from the pancake, the mint, cilantro, the fish sauce, heaven. So now we've got this pork skewer. Mm, smells delicious. Now this one is gonna be peanut all the way. Oh, tender, juicy, dripping with fat. This is what is amazing about street food in Vietnam. Most places don't have all these tiny little stools. Whether you're talking about America or Thailand, you order food from a street stall, there's not a convenient way to eat it. It's just awkward. So either you take it home and then it's not hot anymore, or you're kind of standing around awkwardly trying to juggle things in your hand. This is so civilized, these little stools and these little tables. I absolutely can't get enough of it. Look at this stack of cash this lady has, that's awesome. Okay, thank you. Delicious, so good. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out that super unprofessional neighborhood guide of what neighborhood again? Uh, it's Fu What she said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much to Chi, my local food expert. Her Instagram link is in the description below. She's single, fellas. Go follow her. <laughs> Check out these other videos, other videos with Chi, other videos of Hanoi, and leave a comment down below. Should I make more Vietnam videos or where should I go next?